I love these older GM trucks for their simplicity, reliability, and low cost. But their Achilles heel is rust, especially in the northeastern United States. No part of the truck is immune. The frames rust and the bodies rust. My name is Waldo and it is that time of year again. After the frame repairs I did on this truck in a previous video, I wouldn't dream of driving it on the salty New England roads without protecting it from rust. <laughs> Rust, as exhibited by my gooseneck trailer project here, which has been sitting for far too long, is a chemical reaction between iron, which is the primary component in steel, and oxygen in the presence of water. When salt water is present, the process of rusting occurs much more quickly. Now to stop iron from rusting, all you have to do is keep the oxygen, the water, and the salt away from it, and I'm going to do that by applying an oil undercoating to the frame and the body of this truck. This is all stuff that I've had and I've been using for years now. A fluid film, which is like a waxy oil type of coating, so it sticks on pretty well. And then I have a gun that sprays it on using compressed air, it's pretty convenient. And then a number of wands to make it easier. I know you guys are going to ask, so I'll try to find links to these and I'll put them in the description below. So I have a nifty little hand pump here to fill up these containers. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna use is this flexible nozzle here that fits into tight spaces, and the nozzle itself has holes in the side so that it sprays in 360 degrees. This works well for getting into cross members like this. It's also good in areas of the frame like this where you can't really get at from the other side, but I'll tell you, water and salt certainly can and will get in there. The fuel tank is right over here on the other side, so that's why I can't get at it that way. Now most of the frame, especially in the back and the middle, is open sea channel like this, but some parts are boxed in like this, and also a lot at the front of the vehicle, and so you definitely need to be able to get in there and spray that as well. Transmission cross member. The front of the frame is entirely boxed in, so you need to use existing holes to gain access. So one of the key areas to get on this vehicle is right in here in the bottom of this boxed in section of frame. Salt water will pool right in here, causing this to rust through really badly and you'll end up with a nice big hole in your frame. That's no bueno. Once I've coated all of the hard to reach places, I can use a standard nozzle to spray the rest of the frame and body. Okay, well I got the frame done inside and out, and I also got the underside of the body all sprayed as well. One thing you want to avoid is getting too much of the stuff on your exhaust, because that's going to get hot and it's going to cause it to smoke. And you obviously want to avoid getting it on your brakes as well, because brakes don't work so well when they're covered in oil. Okay, so my rocker panels here, they're kind of shot. In fact, I covered it up with fiberglass there just to get it to pass inspection, but typically what you want to do is remove these little plugs and then you can get the wand in there and spray the inside with oil because these rust from the inside out. Covering the outside will not save your rocker panels. You're really going to get the oil inside. 
Whew, that is a messy job, but at least now I feel comfortable driving this truck on the salty roads in the winter. I do have a pro tip for you. Do this job on a kind of a warm day. If it's too cold out, the fluid film will be too viscous and it won't really flow right out of the gun. You'll have constant trouble and you'll have to like bring the bottles inside to warm them up. I mean, it's doable if it's too cold out, but you really want it to be warm enough outside so that it flows well. So this was a short video, but this is just one of those chores that I have to get done. And a lot of people have been asking about how I protect my trucks from rust. Thank you guys so much for watching.